Time for the second week of fat loss. This time I have no ambient light because when I woke up it was dark outside so I'm only using the ring light which makes it a little bit different from last week. But this is probably the lighting I'm gonna use in the future just to make it more consistent. Here are some of last week's statistics. My average calories, my average weight and my weight loss which was 0.9 kilos. Of course much of it is water. I'm actually looking a little bit depleted this week but that is to be expected in the beginning because you're losing some water from your muscles. Here is the comparison between last week and this week to show the difference. I tried to make the lighting as similar as I could with some editing. My waist is now 93 centimeters, so 1 centimeter less than last week. Neck is still the same, 40 centimeters. Chest is still the same, 120 centimeters. Arms are roughly the same, just under 42 centimeters, but I'm rounding to the nearest centimeter here. And legs are still the same as well, 75 centimeters. No huge changes in the first week, which isn't to be expected either. Now, I think most people want to get lean because they want to look better. It was the same for me when I started. And as soon as I noticed that the process works, that I can actually lose weight and that I can actually gain muscle, I got super motivated. I just wanted to look better. I wanted to see what I look like when I'm lean, what my muscle shapes are, what my abs look like and so on. But after a certain point, after getting lean a couple of times, I realized that the effort it takes to maintain that leanness is not really worth it. You can't really enjoy yourself anymore. You can't have that much food and you don't feel or perform that well either. So for the past four years, I haven't exactly been lean. I've done some cuts here and there, but it's always been like between 18 and 25% body fat. Now, however, I've reignited some of that curiosity that I had in the beginning. I haven't seen myself lean in the past four years, so now I want to see what I look like. How much muscle I've developed underneath the fat. Also, when I say lean, I mean like 10 to 15% body fat. I don't think there's any reason to go below that unless you're a physique competitor. I might not get quite as lean as I did back in 2018, because back then I started off at a waist measurement of 91 centimeters and now I'm 94, so I'm starting off a little bit higher. Once I'm done, I'm gonna get back up to like 15 to 20% body fat, maintain that and try to maximize my performance there. Now my lowest weigh in this week was actually 7 pounds less than my initial weight, which is very unusual. That's just over a 3 kilo difference. Now the fact that I haven't had any creatine in over a month might have something to do with it, because it causes your muscles to lose some water. Luckily I finally managed to find some, so I should be able to recover some water weight in my muscles. Now I said this in my last week's training log. Now, I've been having some pain in my upper right hamstring for the past six months. The level of pain has only ever been between like 1 and 3 out of 10, and it isn't really getting any worse. But it is very stubborn, and I might have to reduce my posterior chain work at some point to make it go away. That point happened now. After last week's Romanian delis, my right hamstring was so bothered that I'm going to remove them from my program. I have to replace that slot with something else. I obviously can't do more hamstring volume and I'm not willing to do more squatting or quad volume. I also don't need to do any more pressing or pulling volume for the upper body. The only thing that's really missing from my training is isolation work for triceps, biceps and delts. So what I'm gonna do is a tricep exercise, a bicep exercise and a lateral delt exercise. All for three sets of 8 to 15 reps on this day. Making it a nice little upper body day in the middle of the week. So there's a little programming update. Time to get into this week's training. Low bar squats on Monday were actually pretty good. I managed to get 5 sets of 5 with 140 kilos, which is nothing special for me, but it's better than last week's 4 sets of 5, which felt really tough. The sets actually felt easier despite the greater amount of work. I will still repeat this weight next week, and probably even the week after that, and then when it gets more comfortable, I'm gonna move the weight up and then repeat the whole process again. But definitely glad these are going better now. As for the Larsen press, it's hard to say if this went better or worse or the same as last week. I managed to get one more rep on the third set, but I can't tell if it was just higher effort or actual improvement. Ultimately though, if I improve only a little bit throughout the duration of this cut, I'm completely happy. Even if I just maintain my strength, I'm completely happy with this. Obviously you will lose a little bit of strength, especially on the bench press, because your leverages get worse, and you are less thick on the bench, creating more range of motion. Finishing up with the barbell row again, I managed to get one more rep on the third and the fourth set compared to last week. Here is video of the final set, very fatigued at this point, but trying to have as clean of a form as I can. Little bit of a chicken head going on there, but I don't really care about that so much. Very glad that these are moving as well as they are. This used to be a great weakness for me in the past. 
Anyway, that finishes Monday's training. Don't mind me, just losing weight over here. Yeah, that pizza is 1400 calories actually. But it has like 66 grams of protein and as long as my daily calories aren't too high, everything goes. I put 2.5 kilos more on the overhead press compared to last week because as I said back then, 60 kilos felt like a toy. Now this did not feel or move like a toy, 2.5 kilos on the overhead press is a huge amount. However, it still moved and I got the reps and sets done. Now like said earlier, I had to abandon the Romanian deadlifts even though I love doing deadlift variations. So I moved straight to the weighted pull up. Managed to get more reps than last week, actually quite a bit more reps, but that is largely explained by the fact that there were no Romanian deadlifts to tire out my back before doing these this time. Continuing this fun little upper body day with pushdowns, I did 15, 12 and 8 reps with 68 kilos, though really I think it's only half of that, so 34 kilos. I've done this exercise in a bunch of different gyms and in some of those facilities half of this weight feels equally difficult, so there's something going on there. I like when the numbers move up, but I've learned not to care when it comes to isolations like these. Still, to my surprise, I managed to PR on this even though I haven't done this in months. Whenever my bench and overhead press move up, this moves up as well. Who would have thought? Continuing with the cable curl, I like to combine pushdowns in these because you can just stay in the same spot without touching any bars or plates or anything and get a ridiculous pump in your entire arm. Now to be fair, I don't even like the feeling of a bicep pump, I actually kinda hate it, but I think it's only fitting to do some arm isolation work now that we're cutting weight. Finishing up with the lateral raise, an interesting thing is that I had pretty similar rest times on pushdowns, cable curls and these. And on every exercise the first set was pretty much a limit set of 15 reps. Yet on pushdowns my reps were 15, 12 and 8. On cable curls they were 15, 10 and 8. And on lateral raises they were 15, 12 and 10. So I lost the most reps on curls and the least reps on lateral raises. Probably says something about the ratio of fast twitch fibers in those muscles. But that is Tuesday's workout finished. Absolutely brutally out of energy today. Been tired the whole morning, but gotta go do some bench, some high bar squat and some dumbbell rows. Yeah, for the remainder of the week I was really tired and it started on Thursday. Still, you go, you train, you come back home and you actually feel better afterwards. So I went and did some bench press, put more weight on the bar than last week, went ahead and got some energy drink from the vending machine, now I managed to get 3 sets of 5 with 112 and half kilos, so I took some weight off and did the last 2 sets with 107 and half kilos. This angle actually makes me realize how much of an arch I have, that's actually quite impressive. Damn. Now there are a few things in at least modern life more anxiety inducing than squatting when you're extremely tired and lethargic, but once I got these going they actually went really well. Last week I said that these are only gonna get better as my work capacity improves and it has already started happening. I think the reason I actually was so tired for the second half of the week is because my body is adapting to this new program and this recent lack of food. Had two and a half more kilos on the bar compared to last week and got way more reps as well. Actually went 10, 9, 8 and 7, so I am going to bump the weight up next week as well. Overall, very happy with this one. And we're finishing up with the dumbbell row again. This time I didn't train in the middle of the night like last week, so I had enough time to do these without the gym closing on me. And thus I got to rest a little bit longer between sets. Did these with 2.5 kilos more than last week, so 32.5 kilos, and got them for the same amount of reps. And that is Thursday in the bag. Training finished. Today's session is actually a good example of, even though you might feel really tired and out of energy, your performance can be good or at the very least average. But time to go home, rest a little and then resume tomorrow. Yeah. Finally, we arrive at Friday's workout starting out with the deadlift. I made the decision to do this for only three sets every week, but put more weight on the bar every time, so kind of focus more on intensity rather than volume on this exercise. Hamstring feeling pretty good overall. This is now the only hamstring intensive exercise in the week for me. Got some Myers from a teenage guy after my deadlift sets. I said the weight looks like a lot more than it really is. He said it's still a lot. Very touching. Thank you. Here's my incline bench press for this week with my lovely girlfriend filming for me. This completely failed for me, only got 7, 8, 8 and 7 reps. As for the reason, well, just watch. Maybe. 
Yeah, great work on that one. My ghetto setup was too close to the other side, causing the opposing side to hit the rack, and reps 5, 6 and 7 definitely felt a little heavier than they should have because of that. Anyway, finishing off with pull-ups. Oh wow, actually seeing some shoulder definition here. This was actually the day where I was 7 pounds lighter than my initial weight, but that didn't really make these much easier. I didn't go for max reps on the first set like last week, so this time I managed to get more reps on the subsequent sets. But it's still only one more total reps than last week, even though I'm supposedly a few kilos lighter this time. But hey, I can always blame the lack of creatine for it, even though my lower body performance has been up. Anyways, that finishes off this training week. Now, it was a cloudy and a colder week than last one, but towards the end of the week it looked like this. If we're lucky, the snow on the roads will melt in a week or two, and some cardio in the form of cycling can commence sooner than I thought, which would be really cool. Sleeping schedule back to normal. I'm awake in the morning, but not because of staying up until then, but actually waking up. I'm not a big fan of winters, but this is pretty cool. That takes care of the second week. Definitely built some more momentum here, and I feel completely in the zone now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.